Sa bawat paghagod ng paintbrush at galaw ng mga kamay, umuusbong ang buhay na naglalarawan. Para sa mga alagad ng sining, hindi lamang ito basta pagbibigay kulay sa obra, kundi isang paglalakbay sa mundo ng mga nakamumulat na mensahe at importanteng mga alaala. Kaya naman, para sa huling yugto ng Artist Spotlight, samahan niyo kaming tuklasin ang makulay na mundo ng sining kasama si Miss Carmen Jean at ating bigyan ng spotlight ang mundo ng visual arts. Good afternoon po. Welcome afternoon. sa Artist Spotlight. Hello, good afternoon. So, kumusta naman po kayo ngayong araw, ma'am? I'm okay. okay. I'm good. So, yun ma'am, as an artist, may we know po the woman behind Carmen Jean. Okay. Hello, I'm Carmen. I'm a member of Pasakali Group of Artists. I am actually a born and bred Bacolania, meaning mm -hmm. my roots comes from Bacolod City. But I've been living here in Baguio for the last 20 years. My first love really is art. So when I'm doing art, it makes me happy. So it's face paint um, and then cosplay costumes. I craft cosplay costumes for my daughter. She's into cosplay. And um, I am also a traditional artist. When you say traditional artist, it's canvas and brush and mm -hmm. paint. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, we have what we call digital artists. Yes. That's really hard for me. <laughs> because um, it, it's so awkward for me to stare at the screen and my hands are here doing the painting. So I'm so used to looking at my hands. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a traditional artist. Art has always been with me since I was small. Mm -hmm. I have always been, as far as I can remember, I have always been drawing and painting and coloring. Ano po yung mga, ano, yung mga unang drawing nyo nung bata pa kayo? Ganun? Well, as with most kids, uh, the first experience of art will always be discovered using a pencil mm -hmm. or maybe a paintbrush, but it's mm -hmm. usually a pencil and crayon. I, I don't think it just applies to me. I think it applies to all kids. When mm -hmm. a kid holds a pencil, and the crayon instinct usually takes over and they draw. Mm -hmm. Now there are those kids who draw and then it continues on to as they grow up in adulthood. Mm -hmm. And there are those kids who draw and then they stop <laughs> somewhere along in their elementary days. So, <laughs> so <laughs> like the experience niyo po ba na try niyo na, na try niyo rin po ba magdraw sa wall dati tapos sa pagalitan po kayo ng parents niyo? Ah, uh, no. <laughs> My daughter did though. So yes, I was like, um, she was so excited one day. She called me, mom, come here. I want to show you something. And I was so excited. What is it? And then when I entered her room, the entire cabinet door is colorful. <laughs> Pero speaking of elementary days, nasubukan mo doon mag-drawing ng mga puno, tapos baka, tapos may... Oh my God, may mga yeah, farm, 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 diba? Yes, yeah, farm, 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 may mga ibon, gano'n. Sa lagi mo na? Tikman. Tsaka pag artist ka talaga, pag da, may bundok ka, pag mo arti ka, may, may araw. Ah, may araw sa gitna, tapos may gano'n. <laughs> yes. Gano'n yung ano, pag artist daw. Uh -oh. Speaking of your daughter, ma'am, and then art, Paano po nakakontribute yung art sa relation, relationship ninyo as a mom and sa anak po ninyo? I, I think um, it contributes a lot, like 99, 100% of the relationship because um, my daughter during the last Baguio Cosplay Day was actually interviewed by Tim Figueroa, mm. and 25. Mm. That's the same mm. question. The question was um, if I'm not mistaken, Tim Figueroa asked her regarding the costume, and then she said, My mom has always my, made my costume my entire life. So she said, Not all parents are supportive to kids who love costume because some, some parents, not some, most parents will say, Ano yan, gastos lang yan. Actually, it is. But, <laughs> but since um, for me, I love art, crafting a costume is an art. Doing the face paint 
is an art. It is something that I love to do. And more so because I love the person I'm doing it for, and that's my daughter. So me and my daughter has always been hand in hand when there's a cosplay competition, and she also sings. So when she has performances on stage, I before I used to do her makeup, yeah, and the and the dresses. But now she does her own makeup. She doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> but again, if you look at our relationship, art is always present there. There, one hundred percent. Importante talaga na mafeel din natin yung support ng ating mga parents sa mga bagay na gusto natin gawin. Like when you go just mean sa mga bagay mo bang gusto ngayon? Paano ka binibigyan ng support ng parents mo? Minsan binibigyan mo na nila ako ng advice niyo, ganito yan. Kasi nahilig din ako sa make-up, mm. ano, magastos yan, pagbibili ka ng to, ganito, ganyan. So, ang unang ginawa ko, inipon ko yung baon ko. Mm. Tapos ako bumili ng una kung ano ng make-up. O, oh, diba? Mm. Hindi ko pwedeng sabihin ng gastos niya. Napakahito ko rin ito. O, kasi hindi ko pwedeng sabihin niya. Kasi pag nag-i-start po ng aspog sa art, kailangan mo talagang mag-invest sa mga materials. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, you know her love of wigs. I cannot say that. <laughs> Expensive mm-hmm. yet. Yeah. Yeah, because I also do the costume. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. when she says, Mommy, look at this wig. This wig looks good. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, what about the other one? No, that, don't get that. That's synthetic. Let's get this one. So, alam mo yun. Tapos yung makeup. Mommy, um, I don't have foundation mm-hmm. anymore. I don't have... Diba? Yes. Okay. Pag ibang nanay, I don't make it. Make Wala ko alam dyan. Bahala ka na. Ganun na yun. Siyempre, pag ang pwede, pwede. Hello again. I'm Norman. A member from Casa Cali, a group of artists here in Baguio. And these are some of my paintings. I am actually known as a fluid artist. So, this painting on the left side is what I usually do. It's what you call a fluid art. So in layman's term, it's what you call art pouring. Okay. So this is the one. Um, what inspired me to make this one? The title of this one is actually Weaves of Colors. The inspiration for this is actually in a bed. There you go. So as you can see, I tried um I tried to put in a bell on my canvas but using my style as fluid art. And I think I was able to make it. So if you can look at the painting, it looks like um ribbons that was unraveled and brought together by the single fabric in between. <laughs> Hi, this is Carmen again. I'm going to do a demonstration on creative face painting. So how do we start? <laughs> Let's look at this. So first, we need a hair clamp. It's not for her, it's for me. <laughs> we fix my hair wide so that it won't go to my face and it won't go to my client's face. Second, we need a headband for the client. It's important so that there won't be any hair on the face. <laughs> Next, my trusty, trusty apron. Wag niyo operate it. Ito kasi pinagamit ko kayo. So, it's my apron. It's my trusty, trusty apron. Why do we need an apron? Because sometimes kasi the paint actually goes to your clothes. So, I don't use poster paints, I don't use acrylic, I really use body paints. So, these are my tools of trade. I would consider supposedly as simple. Although it's simple, it took me more than two hours to do this. It's because of the details. So if you look closely sa face paint niya, there's no bold brush strokes there. 
not, but it's more on the finer lines of the details that created the illusion of a cracked porcelain face. As I've said before, I have been into art since I was small. So you grow up, diba? when you grow up, you graduate. When you graduate, you go into the real world. Mm -hmm. When you go into the real world, some of your passions take a back seat. In my case, it was art. So, nagtrabaho, nagkaroon ng family, nagkaroon ng anak, nakalimutan ko yung art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nag-stop ako ng art kasi we need to make money para sa ekonomiya. <laughs> diba? So, kayo, like, when, when, you, when you graduate later on, some of your passions na ginagawa nyo, sometimes it happens, it will take a backseat also. Oh, is it hard? Kasi yeah. it, you have a family, tapos nanganak na, you have children. Mara, parang marami ng priority. Uh, so, I forgot na about art. Art is everything, actually. Everything you see is art around you. It's more of what they say is true. Art is subjective. Something that I might like, you don't like. Something that you might find ugly, I actually like. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. art is subjective, as I've said before. Cosplayers mm -hmm. are artists. Writers are artists. Their art is on words, on paper. They're artists. Filmmakers are artists. Art is a very, very broad subject. It just doesn't necessarily mean that you paint on canvas. That's art. There's other forms of art. There's other ways to, to apply art. Mm -hmm. Actors are So it's artists. hard to define the limitation of art. Okay. Huh? No, it's art. limitless. It's, it's limitless. limitless for me. It's limitless. Sa paglipas ng panahon, makikita natin na ang mga paniniwala ng nakararami na walang pera sa sining ay isang kuro-kuro ng unti-unting binabasag ng mga nagbibigay halaga dito. Tayo ay magkikita-kita sa mga susunod pang kabanata ng Artist Spotlight. Sa iglong ito, naway tayo'y naunawaan na ang sining ay hindi lang nagbibigay ng kasiyahan kundi pati na rin ng kabuhayan. Isang mariging panawagan na itigil ng pagtingin dito bilang isang hamak na lupok 